What's up guys, this is iPhones and iPods, and um, right now I'm going to show you a pretty cool springboard mod, and that's how to get five rows for your iPhone or iPod Touch. And um, as you can see, I have combined five rows and five columns, and I now I have about 30 icons on my, dot, on my uh, springboard, so you can put a ton of applications on, on, on here now with this quick little mod. And like I said, it's called Five I Rows. And um, it's not five column springboards. This is a completely different thing. It does it sideways, not like that. And uh, to that, we're just going to go into Cydia. And we're going to have to add a source. So just let that load. And once that's done loading, we're going to go over to Manage sources edit add oh, let me see something real quick and um i've already have this i already have the source installed so i'm just going to read it out to you guys and it's called you type this in exactly how i say it cydia dot touch mania touch slash slash mania dot com and I'll have this in the link in the description, so don't worry about that. But again, it's cydia.touch.mania.com. And um, once you have that installed, we're just going to go to search. We're going to type in the letter, I mean the word 5. Oops. 5. And um, it's going to have a little question mark right there. It's called 5i rows. So we're just going to install that and confirm it. I'll reinstall it for y'all's purpose. And once that's installed, we're just going to restart Springboard. And this application, uh, it does not run through Winterboard. So it's either you have it installed and it's on, or you uninstall it and it takes it away. So. It's just like five uh, five column. You either have it or you don't. There's no like toggle switch for it that I know of. All right, and once we slide to unlock, you should have your five rows, and that's pretty simple. And that's how you get five rows for your iPhone or iPod Touch. And um, also, when you want to move icons around, your uh, oops, your icons are not gonna wiggle because if it did, it'd be extremely laggy with all those icons on a single page. So that's just one thing that you should know about. If you're trying to move icons that don't have little X's on them, they are actually going to move. You just got to... They're just not going to show you. And uh, it's pretty simple, guys. And um, yeah, that's how you get five rows for your iPhone or iPod Touch. And it looks really cool when you combine the five row and five column. 